Are you looking to get more clock tower in your life, but there's no games to be played? It's time for 69 Balloonist. 69 Balloonists test how well you know the characters of Clock Tower. This co-op game has everybody working together to find the secret character, which can be one of any of the Blood on the Clock Tower characters. It's easy to get started. First, pick someone to be the Game Master, and they will choose a secret character from all available characters in the game. You can use our handy app to do this for you. The players then guess three characters that they think might be that character. If someone guesses correctly, they win. But if no one guesses correctly, the Game Master tells you which of the guesses is the closest to the secret character. The guesses continue until you find the secret character. How do you pick which character is the closest? Well, from our OCE storyteller, Leo, he likes to take into account mechanics and ability or character types, or maybe even how you play the character. Each game master will do it their own way. For example, our secret character is Town Crier. Our players have guessed General, Acrobat, and Mesopheles. We have chosen Mesopheles because it is a minion and Town Crier sees minions. Let's give it a try. Now is your turn. The first round of guesses include Banshee, Dreamer, and Puka. The one closest to the secret character is Dreamer. What are your next guesses? Our players have selected for the second round Chambermaid, Empath, and Steward. The Game Master has decided Chambermaid is the closest. The next round of guesses include Knight, Pixie, and Artist. The Game Master has chosen Artist as the closest. Can you guess the secret character based on the correct guesses so far? Dreamer, Chambermaid, and Artist. The secret character is Seamstress. Why did the Game Master choose these choices as the closest to the secret character? Dreamer and Chambermaid both pick two people, just like the seamstress. Empath, while does have two people, it doesn't pick the players, and that's why it was not chosen. Artist gives a yes or no answer, just like the seamstress. That's it. That's all you need to get started. You can play online with your friends or in person between games. It's very easy to play, and anyone can join in, even if they don't know a lot about Clock Tower. It's a great way to explore character interactions, and it's fun to see how different game masters choose what is the closest character. Enjoy!